Hey guys, today we are doing a vinyasa flow where we are sort of focusing on stretching our back. And I say sort of because we're not necessarily focusing, focusing on our back, but um, the stretches that we will be going through, the movements that we will be going through, do kind of unintentionally stretch your back. <laughs> we're moving our, our energy through today, doing a bunch of different things. And you don't need anything, let's get started. Alright, start at the top of your mat or wherever you're practicing today. Reach up into the sky, come onto your tippy toes, inhale, exhale, roll back. Place your hands on your hips, point your toes up toward the sky, and come into a modified uh, shoulder stand. Bend your knees, roll forward, come to stand onto your toes. We're starting off hot here, guys. Exhale, roll back. Hands on your hips, feet up in the sky. Bend your knees, roll up to stand. Inhale, exhale, roll back. Bend your knees, roll up to stand. Inhale, walk your toes out towards the sides of the mat. Inhale, exhale, bend your hips slightly. Keep your hands raised. Exhale, straighten your legs, extend your hands backwards, and create a sort of table with your back. Draw a line forward, inhale, sink your hips, tuck your pelvis. Exhale, extend backwards. Inhale, reach forward, slight squat. Exhale, reach backwards. This time, bend your hips low, inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna place your hands against the ground and then sink your hips as low as you possibly can. It's okay if you're not into your sort of malasana here. It's okay if you're a little bit taller in your squat. What I want you focusing on is pushing your pelvis forward and really engaging your back here. So we're gonna warm up our back before we do anything that relates to stretching it. Sit low. If you are in malasana squat, point your toes outward, inhale. And exhale, no matter where you are in your squat, whether it's malasana or higher, you're going to roll back <laughs> once again into our modified shoulder stand. Maybe you push your pelvis forward, come into a full shoulder stand before you slowly make your way onto the ground lying on your back. Reach your hands overhead, inhale. Reach your toes forward, inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna raise your toes up and into the sky reach for your toes reach backwards toes graze the ground exhale toes into the sky reach forward now draw your toes outwards point them and draw a line downwards towards the ground try to make sure your low back does not come up inhale raise exhale drop inhale raise bend your knees to your chest Rock from side to side. Roll backwards and then forwards just a couple of times. And then roll up to stand. Inhale, raise your hands high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Relax your hands, maybe grabbing opposite elbows, and just fold here, trying to keep your knees as straight as you possibly can. If this is your first, first movement of the day, your back and your neck will be really feeling this and that shoulder stand, so just breathe. Let that oxygen get to your muscles, relax them, calm them as we move today. Press your fingertips into the ground, jump back, plank position. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your elbows through your heart, through your hands. Keep your toes tucked here. Engage your glutes. Use your core, pull yourself to plank, and then downward facing dog. Can you push your nose closer to the ground? 
And then we're gonna pulse here. One, two, reaching your nose to the ground, reaching your forehead in between your elbows. And then find your neutral position, find that stillness. Draw a line upwards with your left toe, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, step your foot in between your hands. Raise your hands high, high lunge. Left hip back, right hip forward. Take a moment to pulse downwards, feeling that stretch in your psoas. Straighten your right leg as much as you can. And then pivot on your ball of your right foot, warrior two. Draw a line with your right hand forward. Maybe place your left forearm on your uh, left thigh. Once you reach your forehead, draw a line away from you. Pull yourself backwards towards your right ankle and then draw that line again, reaching forward with your right hand up and over your head. And backwards. One last time. Draw a line forward. Inhale. And exhale. Straighten your left leg and bend your left leg. Straighten, inhale, exhale, bend. Last time, inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, all 10 toes face the same direction as your torso. Reach your hands up, exhale, fold. Roll up to stand, inhale. And on your exhale, pivot on the ball of your left foot, high lunge. Frame your foot with your hands, step back, plank position. Elbows are strong, pull yourself through your upward facing dog, inhale, clench your glutes, exhale, downward facing dog. Once again, we're gonna pulse our forehead towards the ground, 10 times, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop your knees to the ground, tabletop position. Inhale, look forward, butt into the sky. We're doing cow and cat. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest. Then find a neutral position. Place your right hand behind your head. Inhale, open your right elbow to into the sky. Exhale, touch your elbow to the ground. We're gonna do five open and closes at your own pace. As you open them, try and touch your shoulder blades together. Once you reach your fifth, extend your right arm long. Drop your right, uh, right pinky to the ground. And then almost like you're sliding forward, slide your right arm forward, touch your elbow to the ground, and then rest your head on your armpit. Carefully press into your left hand, back to center. Roll your, your back a little bit, one way and then the other. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Draw a line up to the sky with your right foot, inhale. Exhale, step forward, high lunge. We're gonna pulse downward a couple of times. Again, right hip back, left hip forward. Stretching your muscle as and breathe. Oh, 
then pivot on your left ball of your foot, warrior two, inhale. Draw a line with your left hand forward and then back towards your left ankle. Make this movement as beautiful as, as unconscious as you can, or subconscious, I guess, would be a better word, but really feeling this movement. Come back to center, straighten your right leg, all 10 toes facing the same way as your chest. Inhale, raise your hands up to the sky, exhale, fold forward. Relax your arms and then roll up to stand. Pivot on your right ball of your foot, warrior two position, and then high lunge, inhale. And exhale, bring your foot with your hands. Step back, plank. Guide yourself through your chaturanga into an upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop your knees to the ground, tabletop position. Undulate your spine, draw circles with your hips in one direction, a couple of times. And then the other direction. Place your left hand behind your head. Draw a line up to the sky with your elbow, and then touch the ground. Open up, again, pressing your shoulder blades together. Exhale, touch the ground. We're gonna do this. Four more times at your own pace. On your last one, extend your left hand forward, elbow, wrist, and armpit touching the ground, and then lie your left ear on your left armpit. for you. Rolling your spine. And then cross your ankles, sit on your butt behind you. Extend your toes forward and flex up to the sky. Inhale, reach your hands high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Grab onto your left foot. Use your core to guide your left foot into the sky. Inhale. And exhale, slowly sit back, lie back. And we're gonna do leg scissors. So, point your toes. Let go of your left leg as your right leg comes high. Grab onto your ankle, your shin, or your quad and then switch. Maybe bring your chest into the sky, shoulder blades off. You can really hear my hips crack here. It's just because I have very loose, dry joints. So maybe you haven't seen. But that's okay. And relax, toes up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, butt comes off the ground slightly, inhale. Exhale. And on your next exhale, draw your pubic bone off the ground, slowly back down. So this slight movement really activates 
your transverse abdominis and your rectus abdominis, which is our stability core muscles. Last one, grab onto your shins, inhale, pull your feet towards you, exhale, roll forward, bend your knees, roll backwards, and forwards, backwards, and forwards, and forwards, cross your ankles, come into a tabletop position. Reach your left leg out beside you, and sit up onto your right knee. Raise your hands high into the sky, inhale. Exhale, tilt over your left leg. Look up to the sky and pull your right ribs away from your left. Back to center, inhale. Exhale, tilt. Maybe look down. Starting to look over to your right big toe, or your left big toe rather, and you'll feel a little bit of a difference in your back stretch here. Still a micro bend in your left knee. Back to center. Last one. Stretch over to your left side. First starting with a straight stretch, and then tilting over, looking to your left big toe. Back to center. Beautiful. <laughs> We're just going to switch sides. So you're now on your left leg. Raise your hands high. Inhale. Exhale over your right leg. Again, no weight is coming from your right hand here. Back to center. And tilt. Look to your right big toe. And back to center. Roll your shoulders for a moment here. Last one. Reach over your right side. Again, maybe tilting towards your right big toe. Reaching away from your left hip and back to center. Bend your knees, tabletop position. Inhale, exhale, cross your legs, cross your ankles, sit on your butt, roll back, place your hands under your butt, shoulder stand pose. It's okay if you're not that high, you could be here, just resting on your triceps, or maybe with your legs in the air just as so. Wherever your shoulder stand has been this entire time, that is where I want you to be. But challenge yourself just a little bit. Can you breathe? And as you breathe, use your core a little bit more. Bringing yourself higher. Stretching the fascia of your back a little bit more. If you are in a shoulder stand, that is higher than just raising your legs off the ground, I want you to start to bend your knees and frame your head with your knees. Let's move away from these toes here. Maybe touch your toes to the ground behind you. Plow pose. For a moment, and then raise your toes up and into the sky. If you just have your legs in the air here, beautiful, I want you to work on bringing your toes closer and closer to your chest, just as so. Trying to touch maybe your fingertips, okay? But if you are coming through plow, drop your toes, inhale, exhale, raise five times. Release your hips onto the ground. <sighs> Give yourself a little hug. Good job. Straighten your legs out beyond you. Hips, hands under your hips. 
bend your elbows, place the top of your head on the ground. We're gonna do a fish pose, beautiful. the back of your head onto the ground, bend your knees. Take a moment here. Rocking you some side to side. And then rock to one side. Press yourself up to sit on your ankles. Walk your hands forward, forward, forward until you reach your limit. And then you're gonna slide your palms until your chest meets the ground. It's okay here if maybe your chin touches the ground, maybe your nose, maybe just your forehead in our puppy pose, okay? Or you can make your way to your chin on the ground and slightly turn your thumbs upward. Flip your palms, guide yourself back to sit on your ankles. You could lie on the ground here, or you could sit for our final breaths. Roll your shoulders up to your ears and down your back. Reach out to the sides. It's okay if you're laying down doing this. But you're gonna flip your palms toward the sky and then down again towards the sky, but the other way. Up toward the sky. Rotating our hands, our shoulders here. And then relax your hands to your sides. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out of your mouth. We're gonna take a couple of breaths here. Feel your body, feel the space around you. And just notice how that makes you feel physically and energetically. Thank your body for moving today, for exploring and being curious today. And thank yourself for just getting out here and trying, testing out new limits, testing out new movements, exploring your energy and exploring your space. I thank you so much for practicing with me today and I hope to see you again in another video. See ya.